Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. This is the Ramble. It goes until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. And a little bit later, we're going to have a citizens panel, and I bet it's going to be a whoop de doo tonight because today uh, was uh, a big political event, uh, the main event. Uh, it was uh, spectacular, and uh, we will talk about that and other things with our citizens panel. But first, we got to check in, yeah, as we always do, with an old friend. Ladies and gentlemen from out California way, it's the song stylings of Larry Bubbles Brown. <laughs> Hello from Earthquake Country. Uh, uh, was there an earthquake recently? Uh, there was a small one a couple weeks ago, but I just... I, has there ever been one in New York? I've never heard of one there. there no, we, the, do you know that there is actually a fault in Central Park? I thought I did read there was a fault in Manhattan, but I've just yeah. never heard of an earthquake. There. Yeah, but it, I, it has it, it, nothing that you feel, you know. I mean, you and I know what it's like in California because... Oh, yeah. It, you <laughs> yes, know, your place is almost destroyed. <laughs> my place was almost destroyed, but beyond that, just when there's a tremor like at night or something, the next day everybody goes to work. Did you feel it? Did you mm -hmm. feel it? How much did you feel it? And everybody feels it differently because depending on your location is how strong it is. Yeah. You know, so um, so the, it, it, so you haven't had any couple of weeks, right? No, no, but uh, maybe we're overdue. I, I think, actually, if you were to check how many shocks there have been, you know, like in recent years or we, recent weeks or whatever, there are a lot more than you think there are. It's just they don't, you don't feel them. But you don't they feel them. Yeah, they happen all the time. But they register on a seismograph. Right. Which is, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm sitting here today uh, watching the, uh, the hearings, uh, you know, this testimony by uh, Dr. Ford. And uh, I think Kavanaugh's, I, 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 we're recording this at like uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon on the East Coast. It could be that by the time this goes on the air, he would have uh, decided to withdraw his nomination or the president would have withdrawn it because her testimony was just terrific, just terrific, you know, and believable, very believable. I would say he's done as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Although I don't like, I think we talked about this earlier, I, I really don't like charges coming up from 40 years ago. Yeah, but, you know, this is a different situation. This is a situation where a person is being given a job that he can have for the rest of his life, all right? Uh, and that is going to have a profound effect on America. And so you have to ask that the person be of impeccable moral quality, at least on levels of that. And I think that uh, that it is. It, it, I would agree with you. Going back to when he was a kid is is not indicative of uh, the person as a whole, but it is a, a a peek into the corner of his history and of his thinking about things, at least at one time. And according to other women who've known him further on in life, this is not an. They do, they're not surprised by the accusation. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, by the time this goes on the air tonight, hell, it may all be over, you know, uh, because uh, I think the president may withdraw the nomination. Yeah, I think he's done. But Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other thing, I don't like the, uh, the Supreme Court is, I think that's a big weak link in our system. Just I, nine people having that much power over our lives is just well. Uh, also, I never quite also got as that. a lifetime appointment, I understand why the concept behind the lifetime appointment, but it could just easily be served with uh, you've got the job for ten years. You know, yeah, there should be limits on there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but saying it's a lifetime appointment. Originally, they thought that the reason why they give them a lifetime appointment was then they couldn't be influenced by political uh, forces, right? 
But mm -hmm. if you say, hey, you know, you're on the Supreme Court for the next 10 years, and uh, after that, you can't go back on the court, okay, then they can operate in that same atmosphere. Uh, so I, I, just, I just think that being a point to, uh, a guy as irresponsible as Donald Trump being able to appoint a, a justice of the Supreme Court, uh, uh, which is going to impact our lives, not just your and my lives, but the lives of people who come after us. You know, I'm going to be, I'm, uh, how long am I going to have to live with this court? I'm, I'm going on 79 years old. Let's say I'm lucky and I live to be 90. It's not going to impact my life that much. But some kid who's in high school right now, it is going to impact his life. Because this guy, if he's appointed, will probably still be on the court when uh, that high schooler is approaching his 50s. Yeah, well, lifetime appointments, bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. Very, very as you say, weak link. Any other and all the uh, circuit judges, and uh, I know someone that worked for the uh, Ninth Circuit out here, and she worked for a judge who was he had a lifetime appointment. He was senile. He was so senile the clerks actually wrote all his opinions. He wasn't even functional, but he they kept him on. Wow, wow, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I, uh, I, I, and also those circuit court judges are a lifetime appointment as well. I think, I think. Yeah, they, and they've got quite a bit of power too. They can. I think stop they. Should, I think there should be limits. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, but not, you know, it's not like you get four years and then you got to run again because that would make them take into consideration political uh, ideology and so on and so forth and people you know, pressuring them and so on. But if you give them 10 years and you say, there's no way we can get rid of you except by impeachment, then uh, uh, so be it, you know, and, and they'll be able to operate in, a, in that kind of atmosphere that, the, that was the intent of what the, the law was in the first place. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, plus this guy looks like a creep. So, you know. <laughs> well, I think he's done, so. He's, 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 there's just something about him that makes me not believe him, you know. Uh, and and uh, this woman was very believable. I mean, she looked like you could see where she had been, uh, her, her life had been affected by this, mm -hmm. you know. And it's not that she doesn't have the credentials almost to analyze herself and her own motivations because uh, uh, he... Uh, She's a, a psychology professor. She has a Ph.D. in psychology. So, you know, she was able to uh, kind of uh, say what was going on in her head much better than someone who hadn't had that kind of learning. But it, it's very, 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 uh, a very believable, I believe her story, you know. Okay. You know, so, I mean, that that's all that need happen is believe her story what they tried to do it was really strange this prosecutor they got uh this woman to, to to do the questions for the republicans because they didn't want to ask questions because they would be thought of as being uh sexist right, right. uh so they got this woman who was a, a prosecutor in i think arizona uh to um uh or maybe it was Colorado. No, I think it's Arizona. To uh, ask her the questions, and she tried to nail her on the fact that she really didn't have a fear of flying. You know, <laughs> she said, "She said, uh, uh, well, uh, you, why did why didn't you want to come out here for, to be interviewed?" And she said, "Well, because I, I really have a fear of flying, and I don't like to fly if I don't have to." She said, "Well, you go to all these places in the world." And she mentioned vacation spots she had taken. And, you fly to all these places. She says, yeah, but when, I, when I'm flying and there's a fear of flying, when you know you, on the other end there's going to be a payoff, you know, basically that's what she was saying. You don't have, you, 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 you kind of work through it. Uh, now, you have a fear of flying, right? I used to. I kind of got over it. How'd you get over it? I think just getting older and not being afraid of death as much. It's just like, screw it, I'll do it. Yeah. I think the only fear I have now of flying is is uh, going, just going through security and getting on and off the planes and such. A well, no, that's just a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's just a pain in, in fact, the ass. In fact, I'm going on a trip uh, tomorrow to Vermont, and we have to go to the airport, and then we have to get there an hour ahead of time, so we can then go through TSA and the bad, the bad, 
And it's just a pain in the fucking ass. You know, uh, where before you used to just go to the airport, you ran for your plane because you were late for it, right? Yeah, I remember before 9-11, it was kind of fun. You just show up. And yeah, and you'd run for your plane because you were running late, you know, and you get to the gate and they'd say, get right on here, where's your ticket? And you go, you know, but now it's like you got to be patted down and x-rayed and given a, a cavity search and, you know. Everything else. It's just... It's, yeah, but nothing's fun anymore. Yeah, but when you had that fear of flying, you still flew, right? I did. I go because I had gigs, but I just remember... Literally thinking every flight I had, I was going to die. I'd just be sweating the night before, just a nervous wreck. And yeah, yeah. But then you'd, you'd take the flight because you had to. So, I mean... Yeah. It, it, but for them to sit down, you know, here she's telling about how she was how she was uh, uh, assaulted, right? And that's the basis of her testimony. And now this woman is like zeroing in on her fear of flying, which has nothing to do with it. Absolutely nothing to do with it. You know, so it was just, uh, it was kind of embarrassing in a way. And plus this prosecutor was actually, I thought she was working for the, for the Democrats. She was asking such bad questions, you know. And, and questions that this woman was swatting off like they were flies, you know. So it's, it, it's, it was uh, very, it's fascinating. It's a fascinating so, process. So then he's going to come back later and they're going to question him again, right? Yeah, but he's going to have a hard job because he's going to be under oath. And if it turns out that he's lying in any way, uh, he he could actually lose his circuit court judge appointment or his district court judge or whatever he is, uh, his appointment because he would then be in, you know, in contempt of Congress and contempt of, and, and violating the law because he's under oath. So I mean I don't know what he's going to do today, you know. Uh, it, 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 he'll either he'll either lie. And uh, it'll be found out at some point, or he will tell the truth and not get the job. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it, he's in a tough place. Well, if I were a lawyer for him, I would have told him. And again, you know, folks, if you hear me saying all this, it's it's uh, not knowing what's going to happen. Thinking forward, uh, but. Uh, because the rest of the hearing still is yet to go. Uh, and um, uh, it, it might happen or might happen this way. But what I would tell him to do is to say, I may have done something like that. I was a kid at the time, and certainly there are things when you were a kid that you regret, you know. Uh, but I, I can't say for sure that I didn't because I did drink in those days and I did kind of black out and I did not remember. And uh, But that goes against him saying what a choir boy he was and that he didn't drink and that he didn't have Yeah, that actually problem. would have been much better, yeah. Yeah, but but I think that the way you, you, you go after a charge like this is you walk into it. You admit to certain foibles and that, Hey, that's when I was a kid, but now I'm a responsible adult, and blah 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 blah. And uh, in those days, uh, uh, there was peer pressure to be this way, and you know, uh, you could you you could parse it any number of ways, and not necessarily excuse it, but just say, hey, I, you know, but not perjure yourself by saying, no, this never happened. I don't remember it ever happening. Well, maybe you didn't remember it happening because you were so fucking drunk you blacked out. <laughs> She described them after this incident. She heard them going down the stairs, and then she saw them going down the stairs. And she described them as pinballing off the walls. You know, they were so drunk they were pinballing off the walls. I thought that was a great expression. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Every time well. she... You mentioned, I can imagine these guys hitting the walls and a bell sounding. Ding, 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 tilt. <laughs> you know, but... Uh, do these kind of things uh, 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 interest you, or do you just kind of are you where 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 are you in this whole thing? I know a lot of people just let these things eat them up completely. 
Yeah, I'm not at that point where I just, I try to avoid politics anymore because it does eat you up. And I just, it's, when you go on Facebook, that's all people are doing now, just screaming and yelling at each other. It just, I find it a little tiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it really is kind of not, not, uh, you know, it, it, I, I, I have one guy who calls the show who sometimes gets really upset by the way things are. And, and there's every reason to be upset. It's not that he's being upset for no reason. But you just got to not let it upset you like that. You can't let it eat you up. Yeah, you really can't do anything about it, and it is going to eat you up. Well, so that's just... the sad part. You know, Everybody says, oh, this is your country, and you can dictate the way it's going to go, and blah, blah, blah. Maybe once in a great while. You know, like I think in these fall elections, if people don't get out to vote, they're probably missing their chance to, to change things, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, it, it, other than that, uh, I'm sorry, we don't have any control over these guys. Once these guys are in Congress, we have no control over them. And they're going to play their little fucking games anyway. They're going to play their little fucking games. We have no control of the country is run by lobbyists. That's how things get done. It's, we have nothing to do. You know? Now, my my ex-wife, Ronnie, who I talked to on this program, who's an advocate for old people, because she writes a blog called timegoesby.net, and um, uh, she asked me, do you think there's an age at which people shouldn't run for office? And I came up with the answer, yes. Look at Grassley. Look at this guy on the committee. I mean, he shouldn't be there. He's doddering. <laughs> you know? And she said, that's ageist. And I said, no, it's not ageist. I'm, you know, I'm 78, and I know that as I get older, I don't have the, the mental acuity that I had when I was younger. You know? And also, the job today, because of the nature of the job, is a much more stressful job than it was years ago you know um and uh you know it, it takes more to be a senator it takes more to be a president more physical abilities i mean obama for instance was the perfect age for a president you know young enough that he had the vigor and the you know he could stay up late if he had to to do stuff and now you know all, all trump wants to do is go to sleep at 11 you know or whatever, you know. I he, thought he never slept. <laughs> really, I don't know. Yeah, he's he's like he sleeps like four hours a night. Oh, well, more time to tweet. <laughs> yeah, that's when he tweets when he's like four in yeah. the morning. Yeah. So you never you never get into political comedy. I mean, you never. No, that's the hardest thing to sell in the world. I think uh, you know our friend Will Durst can do it, but uh, if you're a political comic, yeah. Uh, even in San Francisco, if you did an anti-Trump joke, you're probably going to lose, I would say, there would be 20% of the audience. Or 40% of the audience. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, you so know, you're going to lose a lot of the audience right off the bat. But is that the problem of, of, of a comedian? Or is that the problem of the audience? That, you know, that they go, I'm not going to listen to this guy's comedy because he doesn't agree with my political leaning. Yeah, I think it's the audit. They're just gonna they're gonna turn you off. Yeah, but isn't that wrong? You know, should well, we, we should be, be open to uh, yeah. Yeah, well, should we be more open minded about this? Right. You know, and not but they're not. Yeah, and not uh, not 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 fight it, as it were. Uh, you know, and not not suddenly say, uh, oh, I don't like this person because they're a, they're a right winger or they're a left winger. I mean, they can be funny anyway. You know, um, like I think Durst in general is just funny. Yeah. But I guess because I'm a left winger and he's a left winger, I like his comedy. But uh, we're just so polarized now that uh, you, you could kill a career with anything these days. One little mistake you make. You're you, done. You yeah. kill your career. You know. Um, oh, that was too sexist. Oh, fuck you. You know. Um, Did you ever say anything on the radio that you thought, oh, my God, I'm going to get fired? Uh, okay. Uh, once I did early on in Houston, Texas, and it wasn't something that I meant. 
It just came out that way. I had the, uh, the Supremes were supposed to be on a television show I was doing, and they didn't show up. And somebody asked me, why didn't they show up? And I said, well, uh, they promised to, but they were reneggers of a, on a promise. <laughs> well, I meant reneggers, not reneggers. Uh, but that uh, I, after that, I went, oh, what did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? But it was Houston, Texas in a racist time, so nobody even commented on it. <laughs> today, today you're gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think, is there any other time that I would, I, I've never, the only thing I've ever been worried about, you know, is they hire you to be a talk show host and they want you to be controversial. And then when you're controversial, guess what? Uh, they say you shouldn't have said that. Yeah. And you go, what? What do you mean I shouldn't have said that? And they go, yeah, you shouldn't have said that. Uh, we're going to fire you for saying that. Well, I mean, come on, you asked me to be provocative. That's that's part of the job description, you know. And now you're telling me I can't be. You know, it doesn't make sense. So yeah. you're always walking this this thin line on on what you can say and what you can't say. You know, uh, I don't know that the last job I had I wasn't fired because of my political leanings. Uh, not because I was on the I was on the left wing channel. But I, had, I was critical of Obama. I was critical of the way Democrats, I was critical of my own people, you know? And I think it's important for you to be critical of your own people. I think it's important for Republicans to be critical of Republicans, and I think it's important of Democrats to be critical of Democrats. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, these people think they can get away with anything, you know? Was that your doorbell? It was, I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> Could be a subpoena. <laughs> Could be a subpoena, right? I've been asked to testify. <laughs> it'll it'll ring one more time. You realize that, don't you? Or maybe it won't. Maybe it was just somebody tr trying to get in. That's how. Yeah, people just ring every bell, and then somebody let them in. Y yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, God, that was loud. Yeah. Well, you you have a good you have a good buzzer. Ugh. Yeah. Describe your apartment to us. So that we know where you're talking from. I have no idea. I imagine Larry Bubbles Brown living in a hovel. But would you explain it to me, please? Well, I'm a minimalist, so there's very few things here. It's just a, uh, I have a big studio. It's a, let's say I got one big room. Mm -hmm. I got two closets. Yeah. Little entryway, a bathroom, mm -hmm. and then uh, a kitchen with a, Stove that I think is from the twenties. Really? Yeah, and uh, and a little uh, little uh, eating area. So for a studio, it's fairly spacious. But. Yeah, but is it is, is the stove uh, gas? Yeah. Oh, okay. 20. Which I think is better, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think well for cooking, I I love uh, I don't like using electric ranges. Yeah, that's the worst. Well, you can't control the heat as well, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what's great about uh, the you know about a about gas is you can lower the heat, you can raise the heat, you can get it going how hot you want it to be, and things yeah. like that. And uh, uh, do you have a fairly new refrigerator, or do you have an ice box? We did have an old ice box that uh, blew about five years ago, so I replaced that. What do you mean by an ice box? It was it was a refrigerator, right? It wasn't an ice box because yeah, it was a refrigerator, but it was really really old. You remember my apartment in the marina? Yeah, I actually had an ice box. What it was was it had been an ice box, and what they would do is they would bring up a chunk, big chunk they of would ice, deliver blocks of ice, <laughs> and then they would put take the block of ice and put it in your ice box for you, and then it would come maybe twice a week. You know, it took so long for them to melt, right? And, uh -huh. uh, and that's how they kept things going. Well, I had one of these still in the in the wall in the kitchen, although I used it to put in, like, you know, use as a closet for various things, you know, for cooking supplies. Uh, but it was an ice box, and it had the the place underneath where you put the ice. You know, so. Wow, that is uh, old school. Yeah, that very old school. If you got an ice box, you got old school. Well, but these were old enough apartments. I mean, they had put a refrigerator in, you know. They had put a uh, uh, stove in, 
Uh, I had a very small stove, very small refrigerator, because before you could have a bigger stove because you had the ice box. <laughs> you know, so uh, it it uh, that uh, it was an old San Francisco apartment. The building was built in what the thirties, I think, late thirties, something like that. You know. So those guys that delivered the ice must have seen the writing on the wall. And the refrigerators were coming in. And, and it was made to look like it was a uh, castle. You remember it kind of had a castle look to it? It had a false top on it and so on. Yeah, that's really that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it had little 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 windows where people were supposed to be living. Little tiny windows. <laughs> Little Eskimos. It was like a movie set up there. You know. <laughs> it was hey, like a leaving Las Vegas. Guess what? We've run out of time. Oh. Already? Well, by the time, by the next time we talk again, there'll be a new nominee. My prediction. <laughs> your, your prediction, ladies and gentlemen, the musical stylings of Larry Bubbles Brown. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gabby, the Great American Broadcast Network. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm Alex, and it's time now for us to close down our music there, open up our Skype, which who knows how much longer it's going to be working, because uh, once again, uh, the people over at Skype are saying that uh, come uh, November 1st, they're going to stop uh, supporting it. Now, that I don't know if that means they're not going to be allowing us to use it, but they're going to stop supporting it. I suppose if you call them and say, it's not working, they'll go, well, fuck you. I don't know. But uh, they, they keep trying to screw my program over, so I guess uh, they'll manage to do it, which means I have to move the whole show to another machine, and uh, it's going to look different, and it's, I don't know. I just, it's ridiculous. Anyway, we'll, we'll worry about it when that time comes. I may just close down the whole goddamn thing if, if that happens. Either that or just go back to audio only or something. I, I don't know. But I've got to figure out if I can get it to work somehow. Anyway, where are we? Oh, yeah. We're, our uh, Skype lines are open. And, of course, tonight is, I, I imagine, is going to be a humdinger. Uh, because there's a, lot, there's a lot to talk about, folks. And uh, um, uh, give us a... Uh, Give us a, a, a call. Give us a call on Skype. And if you don't know how to use Skype, it's very simple. You just go over to gabnet.net. And on the right-hand side of the page, there's a whole tutorial on how to do it. Now, we won't be here tomorrow night. We're taking tomorrow night off. In fact, I'm taking a night off next month, too, on a Thursday. But uh, taking a night off because we're getting on a plane tomorrow morning. We're going up to Vermont for our yearly trip to go see our friends up in Vermont. And it's, a, it's very nice up there. Bernie Sanders country. It's up near Burlington. So uh, uh, we'll, be, we'll be gone tomorrow night. We won't be here. So this is your last chance to vent your spleen on a guy who's keen. Uh, and here comes the lovely and attractive Scott Boddicker. There he is. Ooh. Hi there, Scott. How are you? I like beer. <laughs> Beer, I, I like, like beer. beer. I, I like beer. Like yeah, I like beer. You like beer? Who doesn't like beer? Do you like beer, Congresswoman or Senator? Uh, do you like beer? <laughs> Boy, I love beer, but I don't get drunk. But I love beer. Oh, I, how much beer is too much beer, Alex? I don't know. But not a, if you do, don't if you drink the same amount that uh, Judge Kavanaugh drinks, then you're 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 drinking enough beer. It depends what the chart says, Alex. Yeah. Whatever the chart says, yeah. that's how much beer it what is. It, I'll leave that up to the committee to decide. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke he was. Uh, I tell you. Well, here's, here's the question. Shut up, Phil. Uh, <laughs> here's the question. Here's the question. Who do you think was the most credible? The beer guy, of course. <laughs> I love beer. <laughs> I mean, I gotta shout at everybody too, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was the most creditable? I, uh, you know, was it uh, was it the beer guy? Yes, of course it was, Alex. Don't you like beer? Yeah. How about you, Rob? Who who was the most creditable? Yeah, I only saw. I was working all day, so I only saw Kavanaugh's 
Oh. I didn't see her. Oh, didn't I didn't see, see her. anything. Oh, that's too bad. He neither did I, he. Neither did he. So that's. I okay. heard that. Like, yeah. What? What's that? Yeah. What's that, that about? He's he sitting there. Here, he's I sitting think. there defending himself against what she said, and then he says he didn't watch it. Phil. Uh, he said that uh, he was not aware of the questions that he was going to be asked. But uh, the, uh, you know, when he was being uh, interviewed, uh, uh, um, it was the uh, Arizona no, he didn't prosecutor. Say, you, you put that wrong. He didn't say he wasn't aware of the questions that were going to be asked. The prosecutor, the woman, asked him, have you been asked any of the, have you been, have seen a list of these questions prior to us doing it here? And he said no. No, but he didn't say I had, no, you know, not the way hey, you Hey, uh, wait a minute. I thought this was going to be Patrick Free. I'm, 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 uh, I've, I had a uh, remodel done in my home and I needed two front doors and I'm going crazy and Kavanaugh raped me. But All did right. he drink beer? <laughs> yeah, and I had a beer. I had a beer and I don't even like beer. <laughs> but he touched me, and he, and he ground his penis against my crotch. You really, you really find that funny, huh, Phil? The rest of I us find out, it so much the, bullshit. The rest of us out in television land were crying. Yeah, so was Kavanaugh. He hey, was crying like a stuck, he, yeah, he, by, girl by, yeah, he was. By, by the what way, I, I, what, hey, what do we need? It was a what, very what, emotional even, thing. I love that guy. Did what do we, what do we need with court. a crying hey, little schoolgirl on the Supreme Court? Hey, I, I, I thought that uh, Ford was uh, 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 hurting inside. Uh, obviously, something happened to her. Uh, whether it was Kavanaugh. Okay, wait a minute. Patrick has a Couldn't have been Kavanaugh. Something happened. Yeah, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, yeah uh, Pat, have been. Patrick. Okay. Um, so my appointment for my hand control changed to 11 tomorrow. Yeah. That's why I'm here. However. Yeah. The caveat, I watched absolutely none of oh. what happened. I heard zero. So if you don't want me on here. Oh, no. Stay there. Get off here, Patrick. No, You're Patrick, right. Patrick last, last, night, last night I said it was going to be a Patrick-free week. And uh, I said, anybody that doesn't want to call because Patrick's on, you know how they do to me. Uh, <laughs> I got another one of those notes yesterday that I love the program, but I can't listen to it when Phil's on. Yeah. So what I'm saying is... And that was my mother. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say, Patrick? The spot. Yeah. You tell me to leave because I'm... I just have the time now. Oh, no, I, go right ahead. I, no, stay right there. Stay right there. Because undoubtedly we'll go off on tangents that you can put your two cents worth in on. You know? Uh, okay. You saw it, Ray, today. Uh, who do you yes. was the most creditable? <laughs> Any of them. I think you know the answer to that. Yes, of course. Uh, the beer guy. Beer guy. Yes. Beer guy. Absolutely. Yeah. Beer, I yeah. believed every word he said. How many here? Alex, how many Alex, here? I am, I am um, a yogi now. Oh. I heard you talking to Bubs. Yeah, and you changed you changed me. I, I no longer will be upset. Oh, okay. Oh, um, say oh. Um. Uh, um, Jeff, did you see the uh, the hearings today? Oh, huh? Jeff, did you see the hearings today? I saw the the starting of it, mm -hmm. and then I kind of came back at the end again, mm. and uh, I really w I'm impressed the way the Congressmen, I mean the senators, the Republican senators, that they can lie so good. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, they Lindsey Graham, Graham is something. Graham. Yeah, Woo. that rant, huh? Oh uh, yeah, Lindsey Graham. He, well, you know he what? He wants to be. I think he. There's a, some some post he wants in the government, and that was his bid yeah. for it. And uh, uh, a couple of the other guys are, are running for re-election. You know, that you have to factor that all in. But uh, uh, it was, uh, I think, it, I think it was a, it was a pretty, pretty riveting watching. Oh yeah, I loved it. It was like Watergate. Y yeah. Well, water. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. when I was a kid, I loved watching Watergate it. Watergate with sex and beer. Yeah. With sex and beer. More sex beer than sex. I love actually. how Kavanaugh kept fighting back tears. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. it was so touching. Well, yeah. I, you, do you want, do you want family? a crybaby like that on the Supreme Court? No. Is he going to just start I blubbering somebody... every time he hears a case? <laughs> his his life was on the line here. 
Oh, God. Uh, I'm looking oh, for fuck you. His professional his, life it, and his family life. Well, it, that, <laughs> the, the, all he know. had to do was not take the job. I hope that's his what, fucking professional life is want. ruined that's, right that, now. That's why they are trying to railroad the man. <laughs> oh, the poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can you guys spell oh. moron? Oh, oh K- just look in the mirror. C-H-I-L? You wouldn't even have to. K A V. All you got to do is look in the mirror. K A V. G H. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Um, uh, no, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, um, I thought to begin with when I saw her, I breathed a big sigh of relief because. To begin with, she was refreshing from almost every standpoint of people who go in front of these committees in that she seemed real. You know, she didn't seem rehearsed. She was a human being. Yeah. She, she, what, what were all those psycho- psychological uh, brain function things she's talking about? Not How that the you riveting, understand the or riveting laugh. Into speak about. The riveting <laughs> laugh. And, and, you know, I, I heard it, and, but I had a one-piece bathing suit on. I had, a, I had a one-piece bathing suit. What are you on, making? So wait, a minute, wait a minute. 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 Hold on a second, I, Phil. I didn't Phil. Know where Phil. I was. Hold on for a second, Phil. To begin I with, you're, know you're, know wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute, <laughs> Phil. Phil, you're being a total ass. And I'll tell you I why. Am? I'm going to tell you why. Because even Kavanaugh, your hero, Kavanaugh, said, I feel sorry for her. I want to be like Kavanaugh, sorry for her, too. Well, then you're not acting like it, Phil. Hey, the woman went through a terrible remodel. This could bring out these repressed things in anyone. I deal with these kinds of customers every day that, that go through these remodels. And you know why don't you put a laugh track on why don't you put a laugh track behind yourself so everybody will know when you're joking. And no, I'm being I'm being serious. I, I go through this Yeah, with, and I got tired about hearing on how I many football teams he was on and how much he loved beer. Well, you know, he was nervous maybe, uh, you know, being grilled by all of those guys. <laughs> if he's nervous after years of being on the bench, I don't want him on the bench. When he was on the bench, he's in charge. At this point, he was the suspect, not the uh, not the judge. Well, I actually agree with you on that. What? That that he was in a position that he's he's never been in that position. Yeah, yeah. In many many years, that where people were asking him questions and he had to answer them. His thing about how much how, how how respectful he's been over the years and how he's had most of his good friends are women. Yeah, all my best friends are Negroes. That's also the other one, you know. Yeah. I mean, come on. You even live amongst them. Yeah, I mean, but, you didn't but get I the think joke, the, Phil. The major thing we have to understand is that he's been taught by Trump for the last two weeks on how to become a permanent asshole. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I think that uh, uh, Ford has been being, uh, uh, you know, because in July or early August, she did a, a lie detector test. She lawyered up in early July. She had at, to. At, Wouldn't at, you at lawyer Feinst- up? At, and Feinstein was the one that recommended the lawyer. Well, that, this is a setup well, in, in the in no, degree. No, no, no. They're Phil, using Phil, her. Phil, Phil, she is Phil, a Phil, pawn. Phil, and you're, she is being all, all, you're doing, all you're doing is repeating what the Republicans on the it's committee said. Hold I on a second. Said. Let me talk. I don't get to talk? No, you won't shut up. Oh, fuck you, too. (laughs) We don't have to listen to Fox TV. The fact is, Phil, that she had to lawyer up. You would have to lawyer up. I would have to lawyer up. I'm getting dizzy again. Boy, those pills, I'm... I'm coming down. Uh, off It's just just the support of a moron. That's what it is. What? It's good for you. You know, I mean, have a beer. Maybe that'll soften you. I mean, you know, I mean, they were asking things about uh, how you don't fly, huh? You know, why don't you fly? Oh, but you flew here and you flew there. Yeah. What does that have to do with somebody trying to rape you? She said she didn't want to fly, and that's one of the reasons that she didn't want to come and testify. No, that yeah, she, she didn't. also no, said she, the reason no. she didn't want to fly there was because when she flew on vacation, she had an end point that let, let her get over the fear. The only thing she had here was the freaking hell in front of the Senate. That's what she pretty yeah. much said. But she didn't yeah. say that she didn't want to fly out for the hearings. She said she didn't want to fly out to be interviewed. Exactly. 
You didn't listen to that thing, how Phil. Come you know, how come hey. you just, like, always give half the Yeah, statement? Phil always gets half the information into his brain. Yeah, because it's the only because part he I wants to hear. I see the truth. Oh, you, you guys read into it just like she did. Oh, my uh, God. You, you guys read into I this read stuff. Anything into and, it. And, and you believe it to be true, but it's she, not. You think she's lying? I think that she is mistaken. I think uh, that she why do you think had that? A, because I think she had some sort of traumatic incident. But I don't think it was with Kavanaugh. Oh my God, that is such. Why? Did, why? Why wouldn't he? I went. I was in a fraternity at Cal with all of the guys like him. Believe me, that shit I, went on every fucking weekend. Oh, I'm getting upset. I, okay. Oh. I, well, okay. I grew up. I grew up with a guy who was a senior uh, uh, um, beer uh, drink e economic uh, beer advisor drinker. to uh, Bush Jr. And he was also a board a board of governors. Uh, he's a brilliant guy. Matter of fact. He, uh, he was a Harvard economics professor. This guy was the smartest guy in the room. I grew up with him from kindergarten through high school, mm -hmm. and he was just like Kavanaugh. If you looked at this he guy... He raped women, too? No, he didn't, <laughs> and neither did Kavanaugh, and it's really unfortunate that you, you would accuse that man of doing it. No, he is, he is, she uh, did. I'm not accusing him. Other people You have. just called him a rapist. She, How no, did she, you accuse him? How did no, no, hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, will, I will side, raper. I will side. Like hold. Gang raper, hey, hold, officer. hold on a second. He raped him for gang train. In the case of he this. He was like a boost on the train, I think. Wow, I don't know I thought why. thought he was the engine. I must be having panic attacks. I get lightheaded, and then I can't talk. Uh, 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 let me uh, try and, and, and phrase this right. I, I think you're wrong, uh, uh, Mr. Boddicker. Uh, he is not a rapist. He is an attempted rapist. No, no, no. The other gals have... Well, the other gals, but I'm talking about in this particular case, which is in question... He was an attempted rapist, and he said he was a virgin until he was 22, and that's probably because he was very bad at his rape attempts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was because uh, of the nice. one-piece swimming suit. If that hadn't been there, <laughs> oh, yeah. it wouldn't have stopped me. But maybe her, she has a she has a good. Uh, she I has believe a great, that that's it a wouldn't have that's stopped a, you. Oh my right. God, that's the best thing you ever said, Phil. Hey, that is the first best thing, thing you've ever said. Hold it. Listen, show. listen. To Thank that. you so much. Listen to this one. Fucking she racist. has a, she has a great body, but she has a face to protect it. She's fifty. You're that a is so sexist, Bill. Your humor you're the, is you're just the people who give white sexist. men a bad name. Exactly. Shit like that, Bill. Uh, no, that no, is no. just fucked up that you say that. Uh, you you know, hey, have you tried a mirror, Phil? Huh? That's Try what I asked you. That's what I, I mean, I you're you. talking about my wife, exactly the same age. Same wrinkles, everything. Look, I, so fuck I, you, Phil. I saw your wife in the background. Yeah. She she needs uh, protection. Don't That's a nice face and a nice body. <laughs> fuck off. All right. Have a nice day. I'm sorry, what? Phil. We can what? talk later on Messenger and be friends again. I, I hate you. Phil, you're such a fucking... You are, you are the most amazing, oh. bigoted person I've ever known, and I still like you, and I don't know why. Well, it's the four agreements. Just remember, don't take it personal. <laughs> the man has it on his phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get over it quickly. It's just, I, I just can't believe the shit I hear out of your mouth. Well, come on. It's comedical, you know? It's not. No, it's not. Well, look. You, you because this, really isn't a, this isn't a comedy wait, 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 show. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes, it is. You, do you remember what your Rob friend... Had, uh, Rob has something to say. I okay. just said it's not comical. It's sad. What, oh, okay. What's going on in this country is sad from so okay. many levels. So sad. Will Durst. Will Durst said on Alex's show that the he makes a joke and he says the the Democrat uh, the Republicans don't think it's funny and the Democrats uh, think it's uh, real. It had, uh, what, what did he phrase that as? Alex? Well, one, one, one I can't remember, but when you get it straight, let me know. The other yeah, thing well, Phil is timing. Before you quote somebody, you know it. what you're quoting. Well, it was it was great timing. No, you have really bad timing, Phil. I'm sorry, and that's part well, of the then problem. Don't come and to my show. <laughs> you do. You have really bad timing, and it takes away from the humor. I'm I'm sorry to tell you that. I'm just being what? honest. You're what? honest all the time. And he's a yeah. professional. Yeah. Sucks. He's a professional actor. Your timing sucks, Phil. That's the problem. Is when you say stuff, okay, it has like so the how, wrong inflection and the wrong. How okay, you got to just practice. Okay. Now, Mr. Actor, and, this is your practice. Okay. I, and I trust you. 
why don't you take those phrases that I used, and we know that they're not yours, and you don't believe them, and you don't take them personally. Show me how it would be no. said with proper time. No, no, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, here's, I, I here's Tony to. coming in. How many? How, 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 oh, he his his microphone will work. He's on the other computer, right, Tony? Yeah, I'm on the other one. Yeah, okay, fine. I was going to say, let's bet whether his microphone works or not, but I noticed the direction was different. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm. God, I'm feeling. I don't know what this is. I think it's coming down off that drug my doctor gave me. What did they give you? They gave me. Um, what is I've it? I've taken called? everything. What the hell is uh, it? <laughs> they gave me amitriptyline, and after a week and about three quarters, I decided it was also called Elevil in the old days. Uh -oh. And after about, it's a very low dose, but after about a week and a half, I felt like just out of it. Just, I couldn't concentrate. I'd come to the computer and I'd try to figure out how to do something, and I couldn't remember what I had to do first. And so I called, wrote my doctor, and he wrote back and said, if you're having side effects, quit it. So oh. I quit it. And last night, uh, the first night that I quit, that I quit it, uh, I'm here on the air, and I get really dizzy and lightheaded, mm -hmm. And I start sweating, and I think what it's doing, it's giving me anxiety attacks. It, you know what it says? That's the most common side effect. Nausea, uh, confusion, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I'm lightheaded right now, you know, uh, especially when I started right. yelling, when I started yelling at Phil. Constipation, Phil, you, 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 <laughs> yeah. trouble urinating. You know what? Those medicines, like the side effects, can okay. come on way long. You know, weeks after you stop. Too. Attempted rape I, I, by judges. Yeah, that's another side effect. Uh, yes, Jeff. Why uh, were you taking the drug? Uh, because of the uh, numb feet and the nerve pain. Oh, so your numb feet. The nerve pain. And because there's got to be other uh, medications. The, you can't take a Tylenol. What'd you the say? Light, well, I'm going to the doctor next week. I'm going to the doctor next week, and I'm going to see if there are any other medicines I can be taking. That you know, I have I have something That's that right. you can actually put on your feet. It's like a cream, yeah. and it takes a lot of the pain away from that. Yeah, well, I the pain is uh, is nerve pain, oh. uh, and uh, it's from a, a nerve in my spine. I have curvature of the spine a little bit, and it's crunching <laughs> on a nerve, and the nerve numbs the feet out. Hey, then, Quasimodo, uh, it what? says that uh, you could get dizziness or lightheadedness from getting up slowly when ri uh, uh, I'm sitting uh, down. Get up slowly. I'm and sitting from down. Rising I'm or sitting. up three years. And I'm sweating in here. Let me turn the air conditioner up. And that's another thing. You know what? We don't bother me now. The in between, like sometimes I have the air on now, and then sometimes it was like bothering me because it's not hot yet, but then you don't want to turn it off. Well, it's like really in between. It life. gets really hot in this uh, studio because there are a lot of machines and stuff. Yes, uh, Ray. I just want to uh, apologize. I said I wasn't going to get upset, and Phil, I'm sorry for calling you names. I shouldn't uh, have done that. That's okay. That's that's what gets him listeners. Okay. <laughs> it's Nothing. fine. I got news I, for I you, Phil. Really Nothing gets me listeners. I know that. Yeah. Know. All right. Uh, uh, don't don't take it personally. Read read okay. the four agreements. Well, no, but I, no, I think there are actually people who do turn the show off because of you, Phil. Yeah. Some people message me; they hate them. I don't know why. Well, you know, yeah, but they listen. Let me explain. Let me explain. They hate me, but they listen. Well, let me explain to the audience why I have this prick on. Okay, uh, in, people write me all the time saying I can't listen to your show because of Phil, and I'm and I write him back and go, too bad, you know. Because uh, I believe that he has the right to, you know, he has a right to an opinion as long as there are other people to counter it, you know. Uh, and and, uh, uh, and I, 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 I don't want a boring program where everybody agrees with everybody else. That's also one of the reasons uh, Patrick is here. But Patrick, nobody hates. You can't hate Patrick. He's too lovable. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> and I would like to say to the people that bitch about Phil... If they don't like him, then how about they call in and fill the panel up before Phil gets on instead of bitching like a bunch of bitching, whiny, pissy girls. Well, or, 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 so you or, did or, see or, the hearing. Well, well it, 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 <laughs> you know, call and don't cry your eyes out like a Washington judge. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't get that. Yeah, did you see? Uh, did, did you see any of him, Rob? Rob, did you see any of him and his uh, his testimony? Yeah. 
I did, saw uh, I saw it from the moment he sat down uh, until until the hearing ended. Did so you I ever saw seen all the Kavanaugh? Have you ever seen such a blubbering mess in your life? Yeah, mm. I was kind of surprised by that. I and, figured there'd be emotion, but I was really yeah. kind of surprised by the tears. And the one question he wouldn't answer with any of the Democrats who asked him yep. was, w w you right now could ask the president yep. for an investigation by the FBI. Uh, tell us now that you will do that. Look back at uh, who was there, who was the guy from his... McCain. Uh, McCain. 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 Right. Uh, tell McCann, who's Trump's uh, aide de camp, McCann. to ask the president to launch, have the FBI launch an investigation into these allegations. And he came up with all kinds of excuses. Well, we already yep. have testimony. We already have letters from people. You know, the letter from this guy who said uh, none of these things happened wasn't gotcha. even signed by him. It was signed by his lawyer. Yeah. You know. Uh, and it, like it, it was six it, lines it, long. It was six lines long. If they if they like wanted the to do away, if they well, hold on a second, test. if they wanted to do away with the speculation about whether he said or she said, and some wow. information to play into that, so you can come to a determination because the FBI doesn't judge; they just get information for people. Uh, if you wanted that, and it would if if it's clear, the judge would be cleared, and his life would be back in order again. But he won't do it. Why won't he do it? There is some reason he does not want the FBI so has, looking into this. He has a oh, right here. No, it's it's called. Uh, you know, he's already been vetted by the FBI six no, times. No, for did other they things. Did ask him any questions? Bill. This Mark Judge well, guy. Did he ever? Did they ever interview him? That's what I want to know. In no, 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 no. Here, uh, here's the point. Here's the point. Statement. The stuff. Mark, the yeah. stuff. Yeah. The FBI. I've been cleared by the FBI. Okay. Oh my. You know, uh, <laughs> it, it happens anytime. Anytime you take a government job, you're cleared by the FBI, and some, they don't look that deeply into something like when you were in high school and some woman who you might have, have tried to rape. rape. Yes, uh, Rob. Yes, Rob. At that level. No, Rob. they don't, Phil. That's no, what they don't. Phil. That's what happens in investigations. They do an investigation. If something new pops up, they go back and they investigate it. But they're not letting him do that this time. That's the big complaint here. If he, if it, if they can't find anything on him, then great. You know, then but he's cleared. Then he's, ago, then he's cleared. To a, the, he's cleared. What's the uh, you difference? It's, it's not, not true. It's it, then he, have it proved. Then have, have let him have the sanctity of knowing that the FBI couldn't find Can anything. Uh, his you, name? you sound like an MSNBC uh, talking No, point. no, that isn't a talking point. It's fair to him, too. If you say that his life is being ruined by this, then let's clear him by having the FBI look into it. But he doesn't want that. Why doesn't Obviously, he want that, he, Phil? Because he wants to be confirmed before wow. the next session. Before they find out he's a rapist. Well, right. he's not a rapist. Oh, yeah, we don't know that. Now, let me tell you this. But let me tell you this about it. You know, Scott. Let me tell you this about an FBI. Listen, Phil. Look, I'm going to tell you about FBI background. I'm going to tell you about. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you about an FBI background check. I had one when I was with Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. It started the day I went there, and two days before I left, two years later. They came back and said, you've been cleared. Now, they, the thing was, they didn't go back far enough, because had they gone back far enough, they would have found out my cousin and her husband were rampant communists. But they never found that, because that wasn't what they were looking for. They were looking for stuff on me. You know. Do you think it would be fair to disqualify you from that clearance if, uh, if your cousins are communists? I don't think it's uh, fair. I thought every day that I was there that I would be told to leave because of that. No, man, that was a false fear. Well, it, it proved to be false. It might have not been. Maybe they knew about but your cousins But all I'm saying is, if, if in fact, as you say, this poor guy, is, his life has been ruined, well, in order to reclaim it, have the FBI do that uh, check <clears throat> and have him get uh, the information come back that may he, clear him. Did you, you hear him? He, did you yeah. hear him? He said, He's indignant. I, I, I love coaching. I'm no longer going to be able to do that. I love what he's like three or four things that he said he'll no longer be able to do. Right. Well, if he had the investigation because he's so innocent, that would all go away. But now there's a cloud that will hang over him for the rest of his life just because why? 
because he's probably afraid they'll find something. I think you're just uh, so well, well, you can't you can't you I can't find you can't if find I fault with what Rob I would just want said. my name cleared. Uh, hey, if you're, if you're innocent, you don't need to be cleared. She you doesn't mind. Them, wait a minute. Hey, yes, we do. Innocent. Wait a minute. She doesn't mind an investigation. Yeah, it's because she's the accuser. Well, didn't one of the three come forward? Just because you're the accuser doesn't mean they're not going to come back and say, listen, she's full of shit. They can't figure out whether she's full of shit or not because she can't remember anything. All she, she remembers she, she, she remembered incident, a hell of a lot, Phil. Remember anything what, else? What else it? did? What else didn't she? She remembered where the bed was. She remembered what the room looked like. She remembered where the second floor. Yes, she. Well, that's she, what the FBI would find out. Huh? The FBI would find out where the house was. Yeah, that and, FBI would find out where the house was. I mean, that whole argument that Lindsey Graham gave is bullshit. Those are yeah. the things the FBI would find out. Right. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to make a decision on whether you're lying or not. They're going to turn over that material to the president, who then turns it over to the committee, who then looks at it and plays it against what they heard from the, uh, from the people testifying. Now, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, Phil? It only well, makes hey, sense. That's what that's that guy said on the, at the hearing. And I'll tell you what's wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with that is the man is being accused, and he does not have to have the FBI clear well, him. Well, then he can the go the accuser, rest of his life. The accuser then he, needs to Then he can go the, the rest facts. of his life having his football team think no. he's a rapist. No. Okay? The accuser needs to come up with the facts because she's the accuser. She's the no. one that needs no, to no, prove no, it. No, no, he no, doesn't no, have no, to no. Prove, prove a negative. She only came in to tell her story. Now, she has asked for an FBI investigation to check into the veracity of her claims, he refuses to let them do that. Okay, and in Jan there's, and in July, who sounds guilty? Who it. looks guilty? Who looks guilty, Phil? It doesn't matter who looks guilty. Well, it who does matter guilty. because if he looks guilty <laughs> enough, he's going to lose like Susan Collins's vote, and then he's not getting confirmed. Once again, well, Phil, once again, Phil, it's the means to an end. None of it matters. Only getting what you want matters, and how you get there doesn't and matter. That's what and the that's Democrats are doing. <laughs> <laughs> you getting three other wow. words to see for eight hours at the beginning of that uh, hearing, what they did and how they delayed it, uh, and the seventy some odd arrests. That you know, I mean, this this is unheard of. What's this? Uh, during the beginning of uh, the uh, the uh, the hearing for Kavanaugh, uh, before he was allowed to speak, uh, or before he could speak, there was uh, close to seventy or seventy five arrests of protesters in the gallery, uh, not today, but mm -hmm. uh, a couple yeah. of weeks ago. So, that's so, so no, a democracy, that, Phil. No, that's that's a, it's, a, it's a democracy, Phil. I don't know if you know that. I'll, no, I'll no, explain it to you later. The democracy is that our representatives get to ask questions and get to vet this guy and uh, decide whether they're going to uh, push him forward for... Uh, uh, to be voted on. All I'm Bill, saying, when you, oh. have, when you don't think your leaders are listening to you and that they're trying to muscle something through for a political gain of some kind. Shame wait a minute, wait a minute. Let people him finish, Phil. Oh, wow. Shame on you guys. Oh, my yeah. God. What do you mean, shame this on us? This is the for United what? States of America, Phil. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, this is the United place States where you can America. do that without being put in jail or condemned or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, well, she, this woman is saying things that could put this man in jail. Well, that, this woman to wanted to be anonymous as, as a sexual offender because, you know, the piece of paper that that uh, woman, uh, the uh, uh, prosecutor gave him no, it's not uh, a trial. said, what is sexual assault? But what comes out of this, if he's uh, not uh, uh, allowed to move uh, up, uh, then he, they're saying that you're guilty of the things that, uh, that you know, this woman is she can is go. She no, and her lawyers can go to the Montgomery County police department and file a criminal you know file uh criminal charges right. against him and that will keep him from being a coach that will keep him from uh well that's uh, why he should want an investigation to make sure that the so that it will come back and say well we didn't find proof that these claims existed but he doesn't need to clear himself. He needs to because to he's been prove, accused of it you're, you're, you're saying that his life is ruined no matter what right now right so, That's what he says. But, and it's uh, true. Uh, it's well, true. You, you just went the wee, wee, wee route with that same argument, that his life was ruined, his life was horrible, it's, it's gone, it's it, in shambles. It well, you want to get be, it out of there, you I want it to get out be. of there, wouldn't a investigation by the FBI that could clear you 
and cl clear the air about what went on uh, be appropriate to save your, your so-called career? He doesn't need to save his career. She needs to prove her allegations. I think she proved them. It doesn't work it. that way, Phil. Yes, it does. It does. It's, it's, it's not a court of law. I think she proved them it's by her pure... By her pure. This isn't a court of law. This is that, a, a, where do you get this shit? Court. It's not a court of law. It's not a court of law. It's not a court of law. It's well, not a court of law. In fact, in fact, in fact, Phil, 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 listen to me. In the thing, they had a discussion about that very fact, that this was actually a, uh, oddly job enough, interview. a job interview and not Phil, a courtroom. Fox today. Yeah, you have, you have Phil, the right Fox. to be presumed Phil, yeah, innocent. Phil only watched what Fox. She's accusing him of, well, what did. she's accusing him of is a crime. Today, yeah, whether right, it's but, a but, court of law or not, she's accusing him of a crime. But, Phil, there's a difference between... A felony. There's Felonies. a difference between uh, a criminal court and a civil court. There are very di big differences yeah, between them, right? There's also oh. a difference between a hearing and a civil court case and a criminal if case. If these allegations are proven, then he would be subject to a felony. Oh, and he would Phil, not be able Phil, to Phil, Phil, law. Phil, Phil, uh, uh, Phil. Yeah, we, we, we hear you. We've heard you say <clears throat> all this. Here's the yeah, thing. Yeah, but you, you, got, you, you got deaf ears. No, I don't no, have deaf ears. I got earphones on. I'm listening to everything that's going on. He doesn't have to prove it. He, she does. He, he has no, to prove does, it if he wants the job. Do. He has to prove it if he wants the job. Right. No, he doesn't. Yes, Who he does. So? Well, it's not if he gets enough Republicans to revolt. I'm telling you right now, I don't think he's going to be confirmed. I don't think it's I even going to get out of do. committee. Huh? Do. You, I do. Who, you, who does? I think, I think he'll be confirmed. You do, I Rob? I think he'll be confirmed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think we I live think in a nutty world. That everything is off the the off the hook. It's bizarre. Nothing, yeah. Great job. It, it, take the past since 2016, the election night, and throw everything out because it's all uh, it's a oh, new world we live in. Um, um, you know something? Man. I'll tell you what we have. We have people on our chat, and they're all sitting around blathering with each other. Just with a with a uh, who, with a name, either Kavanaugh, you can just write Cav, or uh, how about uh, yes or, or no or Ford? No or Ford. Uh, just tell me which one you believe the most. And we have a lot of conservatives there. Okay. Yeah. Which one of the two testimonies today you believe the most? And then you can get back to all that shit you write with each other. Yeah. Uh, but here's a question though. Yeah. See, I believe them both. Come forward though. Hmm. Didn't another woman come forward? Oh, two been, other women. There have been two, Damn. and then there's also been a guy who came forward to attest to his drinking. Yeah. Uh, so there's, there's a pattern here, then. Because oh, he's yeah. he's making himself out to be a Boy Scout who had some beer once in a while, and other some of his other classmates are saying, no, 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 that's not who this guy was. He, he kept saying to the he, he kept saying like to this one congresswoman, I like beer, don't you like beer? Hey, I I I hate fucking beer. Well, he loves beer. I hate fucking beer. Yeah, it's bitter. You know, the question of who doesn't like beer is, uh, is well, it's him obviously, and he drinks it a lot. Scott Scott's real name is Kavanaugh. He likes beer. Yes, Jeff. 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 Obama liked beer. Let Jeff. He did drink Obama. They say, remember? Yeah, yeah, Jeff. And the smoker. Swallow is an alcoholic. Oh, really? Yes, that's right. You know, and that. That's an indicator. It's a little bit of a, a likeliness that uh, the son becomes an alcoholic. Yeah. I hate to say. Yeah, but but you know something. Let me let me go to one thing here. He mm. mentioned that his father did it very well, and that he kept a calendar. Yeah. <laughs> How many here believe that calendar actually was kept during that time and wasn't just written a couple of weeks ago? I, I laughed like hell when I saw that. Because well, I don't know about I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I never kept a calendar. You were not right? having when I finally got uh, into my twenties and I had radio shows and I had to book guests. I got a day uh, a day planner, you know, one of those day at a time planners. I didn't write down I raped anybody that day. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, but. Uh, 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 and also, I mean, uh, are you going to write, uh, hey, I went to this party, got stupid, drunk, and then tried to rape a woman? Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah. he, would, he would have had the party on there, and who was there? That's that's what he well, did. Well, there, there were a couple of parties listed there. He's yeah. a party guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
And that said that Mike Judge was there as well. Yes, uh, yeah. Jeff. Not Mike I, Judge. Well, I, I couldn't Mike, believe no, Mark, Mark Judge. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't believe that at the beginning he wouldn't even admit that, that he ever met her. He yeah. said he may have uh, met her in, uh, in passing. Yeah, I think he said, I wouldn't fuck her with your dick. Yeah, uh, that's what I said. <laughs> He's ugly, too. You know, this guy, I, I listen to him. He is so full of shit. Yeah. Does anybody here play poker? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, uh, Rob, poker. Yeah, a little bit. Sure. Did he, did he have tells? Sorry? Did he have I, tells? I couldn't tell. Tells? Is that yeah. what you said? Like yeah. a thing I with his nose? E either either, he, either, like either he has, either he <laughs> has a, 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 well, a I, it in looked, the tongue. It the looked, tongue. Yeah, and the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> this still thing. knows he's lying. Uh, I, he's I kind of got the feeling yeah, this guy was high on coke. Well, I thought you'd say that. Why you could tell? He was sniffling, moving his tongue I, around I like know crazy. I how to fix this whole thing. Uh, uh, Jews don't drink, so you only put Jews on the Supreme that's Court. That's right. You got it. That's that's the thing. But they drink wine. I think they drink wine. I know some of them drink wine. Passover wine. Passover wine. But basically, Manish basically Shevitz here and there. Women know, oh, okay. women know this for a fact, that if you marry a Jewish man, he will not be a drinker. You're probably right about that. Which my It'll father completely disproved. But, you know. <laughs> you don't drink. Well, my father was a musician, and he'd go and work, and people would say, buy the band a drink, and my father would have like 10 drinks a night and could drink, oh. drink anybody under the table. But one day, he decided to just quit, so he just quit. So if, is that an alcoholic? No, I don't now, think so. That, when they say buy the band a drink, don't, doesn't the bar know to bring them ginger ale or something? No, they bring him a drink. Yeah? Yeah. Guy pays for them. They'll yeah, you pay for the drink, but you get ginger ale. No. So usually that's worked that's out. That's when you're. With, that's that's with who, hookers. That, that's <laughs> right. hookers. Typically, the band. Let's typically that's worked out in advance. Like uh, I know, as it, when I DJ in nightclubs, you could go up to the bartender and say, "Hey, if anybody wants to buy me a drink, give me this," and it could be a shot that's ginger ale, or right. if that's what you wanted. So that's you know. They're not going to tell the customer that. They'll just not put alcohol in it if they don't well, want after, it. After a night What's of doing deal? two shows, my father and the whole band were loopy, you know. But my oh, father absolutely. could hold his, hold his liquor pretty damn well. And one day he found out that he couldn't, and so he stopped drinking. He just stopped. He said, I can't hold it anymore. That's it. I was always Runs amazed the at how these... That's what? How these musicians in the clubs can drink and drink and drink and still keep rhythm. It always used to be... Yeah, isn't like, that amazing? Oh, I don't my think God. Well, well, it was a drunker you no, they, get, the better we sound. <laughs> well, in <laughs> Alex's family, Alex quit smoking cold turkey. You know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, my dad. I did it the same way. I quit my dad cold quit turkey. cold turkey. No problem. I quit. I look at my dieting. Yeah. You know? I put the cigarette, the next cigarette off another hour, and then it's been 40 years well to be truthful though i quit twice i quit once and then about th four uh, six weeks in i went oh well, i guess i could have a cigarette and before i knew it i was smoking again <laughs> you know. so i mean but but uh uh, uh no I'm, I'm i'm pretty good at quitting stuff you know i'm okay uh yeah you know i do it uh, just fine uh but anyway so um i i felt the whole calendar thing there was something very Weird about that. I mean, he kept like a diary. He kept a calendar. Basically, well, he's a, a calendar. Girl. No, he might as well. a diary would be. Dear diary, today I raped a girl. You know. Oh my God. Uh, no, he said that he used the calendar for forward events, but he also used it uh, uh, backwards uh, when something changed or uh, he had to add something to it. So it was a it was a combination calendar diary. How do we know? How do we know? That he didn't it, add stuff to it, that diary it, before he turned it no, into the FBI. Yeah, that would never be admissible in court, for sure. Of course not. Yeah. It could be changed. It could be, change, it could be altered. To a crime. <laughs> Whoever admits to a crime. Did you do this? No. Man, really? How, the jails are he, full of them. It was always not how, guilty. How, you know, there's 365 <laughs> days in a year. He had several years of, of calendars there. I know. That he's a, a, yeah, that's strange. Can you tell me he isn't a weirdo? Yes, Patrick. That's a lot. Dahmer said he, he killed all those people. 
and he said he'd do it again if they let him out. So there was. He's honest. <laughs> Didn't somebody eat him? Really, he used to eat them. Man. Was that the, oh, that was Rakowitz? They caught him in the city. Well, no, the him. guy who was eating people was the clown guy. Uh, Not the okay. Dahmer? Dahmer was. Gacy. Dahmer was too. Oh, Dahmer, Dahmer was eating Dahmer him. Was eating him too. Yeah. 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 Dahmer would have... label their organs and put them yeah. in the refrigerator in little bags. Oh. You ever have a microwaved arm? You know, I mean, it's. Tasty. No, I don't do that because it might blow a fuse. I'm sure they had the microwave on upstairs for 30 minutes. They had to find. I know you. We heard about that. Yeah. I told did you, you see? Did you see list. any of this today, Tony? What's that? Did you see any of the hearings today? My mother was trying to fill me in, but I kind of left her because I didn't want to hear it all from her. Because she's not going to let me go downstairs. I. So she just told me it was just. I, I, had go, I had to go to Apple to get a new mouse because my old mouse over here died on me or was just acting up, and so. But I I, I took a cab which. Took forever. I didn't. In fact, it's the first time I haven't given a cab driver a tip. He took. He went. He went the wrong way. I told him how to go. He went another way. Before I know it, the cab ride. A ten dollar cab ride's a twenty dollar cab ride. But anyway, why did you buy a mouse on on uh, uh, physically? Why don't you just go on Amazon or something? Because I needed it today. Because you couldn't take it from another machine. No. Oh. Because uh, because then I have to repair it and it no. So anyway, uh, I. Uh, I, I took the thing, uh, um, I went down to get it. So I took a cab so I could have my earphones on and listen to the hearing. Uh, and then coming back, I had to take the train, but then the train was taking seven minutes to get to the station. So I left the subway and I went up looking for a cab and there were no cabs. So I went back down again, swiped the card again, which would mean another dollar fifty or something like that. And it said, uh, you can't reuse it again yet. So finally, here comes a train into the station. So you know what I did? Jumped, I jumped the turnstile. Fuck it. You know, I paid for it. 78-year-old man jumps turnstile. Yeah, well, because I paid for it. You know, if you don't want me to jump the turnstile, then allow me to pay for it again. Yeah. You know, but they do it so it's too soon. You have to wait like 10, 15 minutes before they'll let you use it again. Yeah, because they don't want you swiping for somebody else. For somebody else, yeah. No, I went into Paris one time, and I was trying to to meet my my son, who was coming from someplace else, and I couldn't figure out how the hell to get in to pay for the ticket. Same thing happened to me. So I just Paris, they make it really difficult. You, you know what I did in Paris? I couldn't figure out how to pay for the ticket, so I walked everywhere. Uh, I I just couldn't figure it out. It was it, you know, the, I had no way great. of understanding. Okay, those but bicycles you can rent, those are great. Last time we, we did that, my son and I, that was fun. But here, here, here's a question. Here, you know, the question I'm asking here is that uh, Rob said uh, he thinks he'll get confirmed. How about the rest of you? Do, I, I mean, I now think. I said. Huh? Yeah. Jeff? 50 50. I, I don't. Yeah. I think, I think he will be confirmed. I do too. Uh, I, I, I think that I don't, I, you've got, you've got Jeff Flake to get through and Susan Collins and I Murkowski. I think they've already come around. And Murkowski. No, they haven't they're, come They're around. in a meeting right now with Manchin, uh, the, the four of them, Manchin, the Democrat and, uh, uh, Collins, Murkowski and Flake. They're in a meeting. They're in Collins's office. And I think it's looking for well, pretty positive. How do you know what's going on in there? Well, I, that's what I heard reported. No, uh, they're Fox. having a meeting. It doesn't. They didn't say what, how it was turning out. Well, they said that they did tell all their assistants to get out. That it's just them. Yes. Yeah, so and, I mean, so how do you know there. that they're 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 not going to they're going to go for confirmation? The Russians have bugged the office. Y yeah. Okay. You don't know <laughs> shit, <laughs> Phil. So don't start spreading <laughs> stuff that isn't true. I, that's what I heard. You know, I, I heard it on the news. Where? What news? Uh, whatever I was listening to in the car on the way home. Yeah. yeah. Probably CBS. Probably not. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Patrick. Is it possible that they're on their gangbanging? Could be. No. <laughs> Could be. It. Did you see Collins Probably. and Murkowski? She's got, they got great bodies, but a face to protect it. Is anybody, does anybody feel that, uh, that, uh, uh Susan, uh, that Susan Collins... Uh, sounds like uh, Charlotte Ray from Facts of Life. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> huh? 
I think she died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, she sounds like what? she sounds like Charlotte Ray from Facts of Life. Uh, Mrs. Garrett. Yeah, Mrs. Yep. Garrett. Mrs. Garrett got drugged. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's gonna get confirmed. I can't say it. All I know is I find the guy creepy. Yeah, and, and, you, Tony, would you agree with me on that? Uh, uh, and loud. Would you agree with with me on that, I Ray? Agree. I, I think. Wait know, a minute. Hold on a second. Talking, I, I can't see how they get past this room. Yeah, Ray, don't you find him creepy? Oh, he's very creepy. He um, he reminds me of these frat boys that I you know I was in a fraternity. I didn't get along with my frat brothers because a lot of them were just like that. Mm -hmm. And I know them now, and they entitled? and and that's exactly how they act. Totally entitled, the whole sh crying thing, and the how dare you say these things about about me well, and all that. Also, it's just, also the way it, he attacked it, the Democrats whenever they would uh, ask him a question, it, he got very. And, and, it was, it was beautiful. No, it wasn't beautiful. And the, way, the it telling was ugly. thing to me was that he refused to say yes or no about whether or not he would welcome an FBI further yeah. investigation. No, he, 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 would not he say pretty yes. much refused. It wasn't, wasn't up to him. He would not say yes he or no. He always had the same answer. It was a pre-programmed answer. There was answer. no answer. Well, no, it was uh, a pre-programmed answer. Says. Well, the, 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 there's already people who have been testifying, and uh, we don't need that. We have all the information we need. He said that every single time that question yeah. was asked. We've got letters. Yeah. And one of the senators would say, said, she said, okay, well, I'll take that as a no then. That's that was Kamala awesome. Harris. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. yeah he was smoking. That was great. Kamala didn't Harris. Didn't Feinstein kind of lose it? Uh, she didn't get angry, but she, she kind of uh, lost, her, lost her way. Yeah, Alex said that people of the age of Grassley uh, shouldn't uh, be in uh, the Senate but, uh, or the president. But you know what? Feinstein and Grassley are the same age. They're both 85. Uh, I, I don't think, I, I don't think I, he should be there anymore. I think either. Feinstein's too old to be there. I really do. I would agree with you 100%. You know. Uh, and, too and, and if someone from her office leaked this thing when Dr. Ford specifically no, asked no, her to be no, anonymous. No, she, I think she that really said sucks. she asked. I think it was they, a Chinese they spy. They cleared that up today that uh, no one from her office leaked it. Friends of hers oh. leaked it. Oh, it wasn't, okay. it wasn't well, the Chinese spy that worked for her for 20 years? What? What Chinese? Friends, she had her friends driver. of Ford, Dr. Ford's friends oh, leaked it. Oh, they did? Oh. So like yeah. my next door neighbors. Good friends, huh? Well, it's, uh, like I, that I believe, actually. You know, what she should have done. See, I mean, to begin with, she's not sophisticated to this kind of stuff. You know, maybe she's very good at uh, being a professor of psychology and she knows all about psychology. But she doesn't know about uh, human nature on the, in this kind of situation and how to handle yourself. She didn't know that she should get a lawyer. You know, she said she had no desire to get a lawyer. But you need a lawyer in a situation like this. Uh, she, you know, she had all kinds of things she didn't know about, she didn't understand. And really what you had in there today was a totally unsophisticated human being just giving her testimony. And that was terribly refreshing. Yes, Ray. She went to Anna Eshoo's office, which is a mile from my house. Yeah. She, she went and talked to Anna Eshoo and said, I have this situation. What should I do? Anna Eshoo said, okay, I'll turn it over to Feinstein's office because she was simply trying to do her civic duty. She said, I don't want my name in this. I just feel like I should tell my story because he's, if he's going to be made a judge, people should know that this happened. Right. Yeah. That's all she did. That's all she did. Well, she, she went into the congresswoman's office and she said, they said, who do you want to see? And she said, Eshu. And they said, right. Gesundheit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Now, Jeff, what, exactly. what Jeff, wait a minute. Jeff, Jeff had his hand up. Jeff had his hand up. Jeff? Not good. No, I, I think that she's, um, she doesn't have a lot of what I would call street smart. Uh, and she's an academic. Know. Yeah. She's an academic. She works in Palo Alto. Who wears a one street smart yeah. here? Who wears a one piece bathing suit to a rape? A fish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That was good, huh? Oh, that was all right, actually. Oh, <laughs> that was actually good. That was actually, that was the timing good. was actually pretty Thank good. You. Thank you. Somebody who Jeff, doesn't want to be better. raped, that's right. who. <laughs> yes. Well, but, Phil, is it, can I ask Phil a question? Yeah, sure. Phil, is it possible that he could have done this? Yes. So then that's what we need. How can but we confirm it, him? 
but you don't convict somebody and you don't and you don't uh, punish somebody for a possibility. Uh, mm-hmm. He's got to. Uh, it should be that uh, it, it's beyond a shadow of a doubt. And yes, and that's, and that's that's precisely <laughs> that's precisely why they shouldn't rush to uh, 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 affirm him. Why they should take their time, do an FBI thing. And make sure that these claims are are false or do not. They can't find any substance to them. This is slander. That's all it is. No, it's no, not. It's, it's every bit as possible that he did it that he didn't. Same right. Same thing. So yeah. you want to put a guy on the Supreme Court who, you who could have done this? Who is I want to put a guy. A person. I want to put a guy that now hates Democrats and said what goes around comes around. And, and that's not you know it. what? Uh, that's I, one reason that's why not. they shouldn't confirm him because he has an opinion politically about those things. That's right. Yeah, probably, yes. but you that's, know what? Hey, it's fair. I think to I think he did a lot to hurt himself today. I think he probably shouldn't have testified. That that, that one didn't help. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Jeff. Yeah. To answer what Phil said, I, I look at it totally differently. This is a kind of project that that this guy gets his job for for the end of his life. Okay, you know, if I'm only 50 percent right about him or wrong about him, I don't want him. Yep. I want somebody who's 90 percent going the direction that I'm looking. That for. guy died two thousand years absolutely ago. Absolutely well, clear. Uh, yeah, I think that what you want. I felt that the minute that all this stuff started making itself apparent, and there was enough of a groundswell on this. That they that to begin with, uh, 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 Trump should have just pulled back his nomination and just said, "Look, I want to give you somebody that you'll be happy with. You know that you won't have this kind of baggage with. With this guy, you will always have a lingering doubt, even if you put him through, that he was kind of guilty of this sort of thing, and that this is not the kind of human being you want as a moral compass on the Supreme Court." And if they if they do jam them through the and the Democrats do before the midterms and the Democrats do get power, they're going to go after him. I mean, what's the rush, Phil? What's the rush? Uh, I I was I wanted to know uh, what were the votes on the chat room for uh, Kavanaugh. Uh, they didn't Ford. vote at all. They're not even listening to. What kind of piece of shit vote. you got listening? Did to they did they do it at all, Phil? Yeah yeah yeah. They did vote. Some of them voted. Yeah. Uh, American Patriot voted twice. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> uh, he's a dick, too. Well, wait a minute. I don't see just, you know, a, a name here. I just asked him to write down names, and I don't see it. Oh, I was there. I saw it. Uh, Flake said yes. Yeah, so no way, Flake, blah, 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 blah. What, what do you see? Where do you see it? Uh, it's, qu- it's quite a ways up there. They've been very talkative today. Yeah. Or typey. Well, I just thought that she was very creditable, and I thought uh, she uh, uh, certainly, if she is, her memory is wrong and so on, I think that an FBI investigation might help to clear up some of this stuff or to at least in put into all of this new, uh, a new, uh, 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 what do you call it, a new uh, component uh, to figure this out and to clear him, you know, if need be, or... To affirm what she says, I, I, I. That's the, that's the, the only thing it could do is that. That may be something that, uh, 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 what's his name, um, Kavanaugh doesn't want to see happen. Yes, Patrick. I know I'm coming out of left field here, and I didn't watch anything or hear anything, but when he was nominated and appointed. What is it to the third uh, district court in D.C.? Is that what it is? Did he not go through a background check? Oh, yes, and yes. He finished before anybody jumped in. And if the FBI was so good, how did they miss something like this? And this Six is something times. I've wondered about this whole time. Is I'm not saying that women are wrong. I'm not even going to get into that. I'm questioning how good the FBI is, because if they missed that, and he'd been on high-level courts in the past, what the fuck is this now? 
Well, and, uh, but, uh, you're, yeah. you're right. right. You're quite right. But I think the FBI wasn't looking for that. They weren't going back that far. They were looking at his history. Is he a communist? Is he a communist? Is he with ISIS? Isn't he with ISIS? You know, I mean, things like that. I don't think they, they were look, going back to look, high school yeah. to see what his, what his, you know, what his reputation was. Yeah, and doesn't what you guys apparently all heard today, doesn't that all fall under reputation? I think the FBI dropped the ball, and I think you're all full of shit wanting them to investigate him because they already did. No, but and they did. But they it, didn't. It, they didn't probably they six never times. They didn't. They I never know six times, this. Phil. But it was. It was a. It was a. It was not the same. It was not a deep background check. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't. No. Don't need it for that. Yes, uh, Scott. When, when I got my top secret at Texas Instruments, I had to give them a list of people that I knew that could vouch for me. Mm -hmm. Chances are I would not list anybody that knew I raped somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good so bet. Not, but I probably wouldn't list that guy as a, as a confident. I would, of I would say that was probably that was probably you know. the amount of investigation the FBI did was to ask, uh, give us some names of people who will vouch for your reputation, exactly. and that was their background check. Yeah, yeah. that's all they do. It's it's, it's very six cursing, times, Phil. Actually. Six times. Six times. Yeah. <clears throat> he didn't. Did he list Mark Judge as one of his? I doubt confidence it. Confidence to to. They, they, don't they ask your schoolmates? They go back to your third grade teacher on a cue clearance. They I know they hey, by the way, Mark, <laughs> Mark Judge place. has has. I, I got it in a file somewhere, but I think I already moved it over to the new house. Mark, I, I Mark Judge, Mark Judge has enough problems already without uh, Kavanaugh outing him as an alcoholic or a drug and user. A, and leukemia. He's got leukemia. Yeah, he's got. Yeah. And, uh, and he's got a small dick too. I think. <laughs> they all do. Yeah. Um, but. Yes, uh, Jeff. I, I got approved by uh, Boeing uh, when I got when I just became an engineer, yeah. and, and you know what? It was very tertiary, yeah. as far as I can. Hey, I got approved by the police department. Yeah, imagine that. Now you know that they're <laughs> no, but I mean I've had those I've had those background checks, and uh, you know they I thought for sure I was going to get called in, and they'll say, hey, we got to get rid of you because your cousin was a communist. Uh, but no, you know they never even found that. It was just you know they wanted to check where I went to school and uh, what kind of grades I got and. Uh, uh, have I ever been a communist myself? And uh, have I ever done anything suspect? Was I arrested for anything? You know, things like that. Now, admittedly, I'm not becoming a Supreme Court judge, but who knows if the criteria is any any uh, higher for that? That's right. Particularly if the uh, guy originally had a, a government job. Yeah, they, let Kagan, they, they let Kagan on the court, you know. I think, it becomes, a, I think it becomes a tick box that you just, you know, yeah. unless they have any real reason to go, it becomes more like a formality, those checks could at have, that level. It could have been the FBI on his current check looked back at the other checks, and they all looked back at the check before them and just said, hey, look, he's 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 been clean before, so I guess he's clean now. And Is they're that, only going to check back to the point of the previous check. Yeah. Right. His, uh, yeah. his so FBI, later, you know, did you go to Russia and talk to Putin or something? Yeah. I bet you his last FBI was done by Comey. Could be. Could That's be. why Trump fired him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he but, loved Comey. Now but uh, uh, I, uh, um, I listened to her today, and I was uh, really, if, if any of you who didn't hear it get to hear her, uh, I was, I was, I was really. It was hitting me in the gut. Yeah, you know? oh, I mean, really she was, awesome. she was that. Am I right? She was that convincing. She was that I real. I, I will admit, I had to go to the tissue a few times. Really? Yeah. The yeah. Uh, description you that she had, the description <laughs> she had of the actual incident was very clear. <laughs> Phil, not you. <laughs> very clear, very concise. I thought you didn't hear it, Phil. Of course I did, I, but I had to get up a few times and uh, work with customers because, you know, so I had it at my desk playing on my phone. And uh, so if the if I had to get up and talk to somebody, mm -hmm. I had to get up, you know. Mm -hmm. and 
Uh, so, but uh, I, I heard most of it. Uh, I missed. I missed some parts. Uh, she she blamed Tony uh, Magno. She said Tony raped her. <laughs> I was like ten. <laughs> yeah, you, Listen, you didn't hear it, Tony. You didn't feel. You didn't find what she was saying. She was believable. Uh, yeah, she was. Didn't you find it uh, compelling? Yes, but I also found Kavanaugh's uh, testimony compelling too. Uh, why? Uh, he was petulant. He was petulant. He's a Republican. You know what they said? And one of the people who wrote about him said that he was given to fits of rage or something like that, or he he, he would fly off the handle. He did it today. He yeah, did it today. Guilty. And, and That's you know why what? He apologized. Like so do you. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm doing a show, you Phil. Be a guilty man. I'm not asking for a lifetime job at the Supreme Court where I'm going to have a, the, uh, up, the thumbs up or thumbs down on people's everyday lives. You know? I was going to work on that for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping I get fired every day. <laughs> I want to kill a pain once. <laughs> no, but he's right, Alex, because if you think about it, well, thanks. this is a big the job. The only good thing about him going to the Supreme Court is for damn sure there's no woman there he's going to want to molest. So, you know, it's... Uh... <laughs> Have you seen that Ruth Bader Ginsburg? She presses some serious weight. She, yeah, she started doing some. She, she was doing. And she wears one pieces. She was yeah. doing. She was doing she more push-ups than I could do. You know. Hey, uh, Kavanaugh's a smart guy. He knows how to get that suit off. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, oh, Jeff. He probably drugged these. Well, I wonder, after Trump fires him, do you think he's going to get him a new job, like going to North Korea or something? Or, I don't know, but the, the, some food. people are saying if 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 see what was happening with Kavanaugh today, uh, we say well you know he was under oath so he's got to be telling the truth, but so was Clarence Thomas and I they show I saw some if you want to see a nice comparison between what happened with Anita Hill, and what's happening now, go mm -hmm. over to Showtime and watch the circus from last week, and they run the things about the Anita Hill thing and Clarence Thomas doing exactly what Kavanaugh was doing today. Deny, deny, deny. No, I didn't do any of those things. Those things never happened. Well, in those days, it was a little easier to get away with that because the woman was a whore, and he's, he's uh, stellar, right? And you didn't have those Internet things. Yeah, uh, but today, uh, it's all being closely watched by every woman in America. She you now this 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 woman wants two doors so that she can have them come in and go out without seeing each other. Now isn't that you know that's that's the way you have a psychologist she, office. She or a psychiatrist. she, she uh, did that because she's a little loopy from what happened to her when she was young. This was part of her years fear. ago. Yes, uh, she said she was loopy from the. Uh, Look, from the, I just uh, saw a documentary. Remodel. I just saw a documentary. It was the I just saw a documentary on um, on um, Jane Fonda. On HBO. I see it. HBO in the five stages. And uh, yeah, uh, five stages of Jane Fonda or whatever. Oh, Jane Fonda and Five Acts, it's called. Oh, that was it. And it shows that it wasn't until a few years ago that she was able to come to terms with stuff that happened in her childhood with her father and with her mother committing suicide and so on. Things that she had repressed for almost 70 years. You know, so uh, the, the idea that things come back to haunt you, I mean, she felt this way from the day it happened, and it, but, it, it manifested itself in her marriage and everything else, and into what did, wanting what did two they doors. Say, what did they say about how she handled, uh, how the nation hated her for what she did in North Vietnam? Uh, she's, uh, she said that uh, she felt that some of the stuff she did in North Vietnam was important and terrific. She kept dams from being bombed so people wouldn't get flooded out and starve. On the other hand, she said there's a lot of other stuff that she, she and it shows the apology she did to the American troops saying that I was a bit rash in, in this and I apologize for it because I was wrong. Mm. So as opposed to a guy like Trump, uh, she admitted she was wrong. Yeah, but Trump's not wrong. Yeah. Yeah, Trump. Ray. Trump is not wrong. He's absolutely correct. I I, I worship the man. Yes, Ray. Good. I have I have heard Jane Fonda numerous times apologize for allowing that picture of her to to in, happen in with, the tank with the North yeah. Vietnamese in the truck. No, I've heard her so many times say that that was one of the biggest mistakes she ever made. Mm -hmm. She regrets it. Um, and you, you know the other thing I wanted to say when I was a kid in the seventies. 
Uh, I remember there was this case. It was a huge case in which a woman was raped, and she killed the guy. I think it was or even maybe her husband. Mm -hmm. And she was the one who ended up going to jail. Um, because because you can't be raped by your spouse, right? Yeah, yeah. When This was mm -hmm. a huge deal. This really reminds me of that. And most people were condemning her. And now... I don't think I don't think anyone would condemn her. She well, was she, yeah. her, she was trying to uh, save her life, if I remember right. But, do you remember? In, in do you the remember early that? 60s? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, but I also I think of uh, I think of people and how bad they are. When I think of that woman that was killed in New York in like the early '60s, and people just l looked outside their window rather than call the police, they looked outside their window I, I, like I, I it was used to know her name. I used to know her name. Um, oh boy. Yeah, okay. she. Um, yeah, but it, it, you know, when Those, I think of that, that yeah, Those, the inhumanity to, to to people, how people could just look at it like it was entertainment and watch her be murdered, uh, right below their window. But yeah. a lot of people do that. Almost everyone, apparently. Ki uh, was it Kitty something? Kitty. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Ki uh, yes. Uh, Kitty Carlisle for the square. No, no. Ki Kitty. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm trying to remember that. now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah. yeah. It went on for months. Here's a question. Yes, about, wait a minute. So, Jeff has a has oh, stand up. Oh, okay. Uh, I had a, a lot of discussions with my wife over the last couple of days. And she is talking to all of her girlfriends, sisters, things like that. And they, I tell you, almost everyone has an experience which is somewhat of a sexual, unexpected stuff that was real creepy they didn't get raped but they you know other people had uh people who attacked them that they worked with and things like that and and, and they, kitty they genevieve all talk about it like this is something that mentally is in their head every day one of our but people Jeff, one of our people came out with the name kitty genevieve yeah that's it that's it yeah Hey, Jeff, is, is an advance the same, uh, or Thank unwanted you, advance, Maddie. that go, doesn't go anywhere, is that the same as a sexual assault? And that's, yeah. and that's what it's becoming. You yeah. know, when, when, when somebody, you know, how many times you've been out with a girl and she says, how come you haven't kissed me yet? You know, uh, it's because, you know, I mean, I'm waiting for you to tell oh, me. I'm, you know, I'm that, glad I'm not in the dating pool anymore. I, 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 it's a landmine out there. Yeah. You know? There's a big difference between holding a person down and covering their mouth and trying yeah, to take off their bit. clothes. And I mean, come on, what are you talking about? That's that's well, what she remembers. Nice, it, it was, oh, wait a second, hold on. Can I say something? It was repressed memory. Can I say something, please? Yeah. I got to talk about that. I went to an all boys Jesuit high school. I'm going to be judicious. Right. Oh, you're, like, you're, like, you're like you're uh, like I had two incidents while I was there, <laughs> and I'm not. I, I was not. Okay, I don't even want to say what they were. I did not tell anybody until the president of the school reached out to alumni and asked them to tell about anything that happened to them. I never told anybody. It, and then is, I told him, supposed... and I, believe me, believe, believe me, Phil, I wasn't misremembering anything. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, you know, would, would you want to, would you want to not say anything? Because it was because I was a boy and I felt right. ashamed. Right. And exactly. I didn't tell my parents. I didn't tell anybody until I was like 40 something years old. Yep. Yep. And um and then it also made me remember something that happened um in my parish um youth group <laughs> that was worse that I had just repressed and I remembered it clearly. I was not rem misremembering anything. Do you and remember telling, where it happened and when it I happened? I remember yeah. Uh, but I wasn't so, drunk. Yeah. And um so to say that why would a person not talk about it? Why would a person not tell anybody how a person would misremember? Well, she, you don't she, forget she, she, she explained it. She said that I, it was years, I never told my parents. She said, and uh, uh, I didn't go to the police because I didn't think they'd believe me. And on top of that, I was drinking and I was underage and I didn't want to admit to that. So I, I kept it to myself. And I wasn't drinking, and I never told my parents because I was just ashamed. But she I said, felt embarrassed. I think I felt like I can't tell anybody this. I think she said to this day her parents never knew that this happened to her. You know well, that she never you know, told them. 
the, the only time that I had ever been approached, I was about 12, 13 years old, and I was going to visit my friend in Brooklyn. I was in Grand Central Station. I went to use the bathroom, and some guy walks up to me and says, you want to get laid? I thought he was talking about a woman. And uh, so I said, but I, you know, I'm 12, 13 years old. I was a virgin until I was 18. So I said, no, uh, you know, not interested and, uh, and, and walked off. I didn't know that he was talking about himself and that he was uh, tr trying to approach me. And he was a pedophile. Yeah, you know, uh, but and and it took years until I actually realized that's what he was talking about. Yeah, but but but, but he didn't accomplish anything, and there was nothing you had to repress. No, no, I understand. Know. But uh, here was an unwanted advance. Is that a rape in today's? You know, me Too it, world? it's it's interesting that no. in today's Me Too world, you had a bunch of congressmen, and you even had uh, even had uh, uh, Kavanaugh uh, being very gingerly about how they were treating her testimony. Of course. You know, well, okay. I believe it probably really happened, and that's terrible, and my daughter prays for her. That was the part that got to, did you hear that, Scott? Oh, yeah, I heard it, and he yeah. cried like a baby. Oh, yeah, my, my, my daughter was praying for her. <laughs> Should we pray for her, Daddy? Yeah. Hey, oh, you, you, you guys, you guys, Wait, were, a this guy's a devout hey, Catholic. I'm even liking this Wait. guy. He's such a pussy. He's a oh, devout a Catholic. Yeah. That's that's the first problem right there. Yeah, I'm right. A Catholic, and I know how wicked I am. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Phil. Phil, can I ask you something? Yeah, don't don't send me any tweets tonight. No, no. Let's, <laughs> by the way, I erased the picture. I erased the picture. Uh, by the way, that's correct, right? J uh, 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 Tony, you said you got approached in Grand Central Station. You were underage. I was 12 or 13. So you were an adolescent. You weren't an adult. So say if I was a lawyer, and say if I said you came to me and you said, this guy, Kavanaugh, was the guy who did this to you. How would you feel now? Would you want to come forward and have him have this job? Even though he didn't succeed, he did come on to you, Phil. He knew you were a child. Yeah, that guy, would. That guy, whoever came on to you, Would you want him on the court of law then? Even Probably though he didn't go through with it, he was wrong. No, I, I wouldn't want him on a court of law, but I know. Uh -huh. There we go. But, you know, we don't know that this woman's repressed memory is accurate. But they could say the same thing about you. Maybe you were the it, I, I, it wasn't repressed. Wait, 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 let, 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 let Rob. She Rob. just didn't admit anything about no, it. She, she, she well, okay, okay. Oh, Rob she was had problems in school, in college. When she first got in college, she, she was she struggling. She said it, to, it didn't to, come. Get her break. She, she, she said it didn't, it. it didn't come out until she was in counseling. No, 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 no. no. You did not Phil. listen to it, Phil. That's not what she said. You were too busy yeah. selling Phil. carpet at the she time. Said that's not what you think she said. That's not what uh, she said. Rob, yeah. Rob, yeah. Rob, Rob, yeah. Rob, hey, 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 everybody. I got to yell at you because you don't understand fucking English. I'm not going to understand. Rob has his hand up. Phil, let me ask you something. Did yeah. we? I said to you before, you think it's about a 50-50 chance that he could have done it or not done it, right? It's yeah. his word against, okay, would you get on an airplane that had a 50% chance of not making it? Mm -hmm. And you knew that? Right. I'll be I, uh, well, you don't know. You, what do you, you mean? Know, what? You, what? What? It's like that a Get, getting chance. on a plane is one thing. Uh, giving some testimony that you believe to be true is another. Wait, wait. So you're saying that it, the, the Supreme Court's not that important. It's no, the I, only the highest court in the well, land. Let's put it another it's way. a lifetime appointment. She, and she let, me, let, me put it, let me put wait it another way. You just said it. If, if just, he's innocent, if he's innocent, okay, I'm not well, going to convict him. I'm not going to convict him on a 50-50 chance. You know what? That airplane may not crash, so why don't you get on it? Let me let yeah, me ask I this question, Phil. Your your loving daughter, let's say, uh, decides she wants to marry a guy, and there's a 50% chance he's a serial killer. Do you want her Drunk to take a chance on marrying him? Well, only if he stays with my ex-wife. Oh. <laughs> sure, that's terrible. He'd probably wrap him up in a rug and throw him in the river. <laughs> and, and her mother. Gangster will come out. Get him in the water. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm, all yeah, I'm he's saying right, is, Alex. Is, is, Listen, he's talking some sense. You know him. what? What? What we're talking about here, Phil, is that think of the importance of this job, and yeah. and the permanency of it. The fact that uh, you know, I mean, I think that the judges should only be given ten years, and that's it, in and out. Right. No, and they still won't have any pressures, you know. Uh, but we don't do that. Alex, we give them the, let me finish what I'm saying, Phil. Please. All right. You know. Uh, when when um, 
Oh, God. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Ten okay. years Go on ahead, the court. You, right. You said it's the importance of the job and and to give the guy uh, that position. You have to be you have accusation. to be very careful about who you give that job to. Right. I want to give it to somebody who's going to rule on the Constitution because that's what the job is. Well, and if and if he had some personal issues when he was 17 years old, that doesn't necessarily. Well, mean how do you know he's going to rule on the Constitution, uh, on Constitution and no on his so own there's beliefs? There's no other Republican conservative that that would yeah, meet the criteria. Him? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there are. OK, but, so then why not grab one? of OK, those? go to the next guy on the list. It's a woman, I think. Okay, well, that's go to fine. The, so why not just grab that person? Then? Yeah, she uh, raped me. Uh, yes, Patrick. <laughs> we no, not aware of this, but it just came across CNN. The American Bar Association calls on the Judiciary Committee to halt the Kavanaugh vote until the FBI investigation is done. Whoa! Yes. And that and the American was it the American Bar Association who said he was a good guy or something or gave him a yeah. high rating or something? Well, yeah. apparently they don't think so. So they they, they don't he like might me. very well he might very well be a good guy to a lot of people, and he mm. might very well have mentored a ton of women in his lifetime, and that might be at a guilt for what he did when he was a kid. For all you know, a tremendously fake organization the american bar association yeah. <laughs> <They're> always <laughs> drinking beer oh, oh, this bar <laughs> yes yes patrick oh, yes patrick can patrick I, can i contribute something now yes go ahead <laughs> well, now I did. I, that was my contribution that was a oh, good contribution that was a great that was the best contribution of the night patrick yeah. you get the star take a sticker <laughs> yeah. uh, where did where did it come across uh, CNN. Huh? CNN. 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 Wow. Uh, let me let me look it up here. CNN. CNN. How do you spell that? C N A K E C N A. Yes. Uh, Friday. Well, it doesn't. I don't see it here. Uh, it's on there. It's their lower third on the. On, they're replaying the Kavanaugh hearing right now. Yeah. And uh, it it's their lower third, right on the air. The, the, oh, on the air. Uh, I see. Okay. Lemon yeah. drop or whatever the fuck his name is. I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, Don Lemon's on. Don Lemon. Yeah, yeah Don Lemon. What you said, Jack? Yeah, it's just that it does. Isn't it, he it, gay? It, <laughs> yeah. He doesn't like beer. Well, that's good. The uh, yeah. Well, I, I agree with the American Bar Association. I think that they're you know the do the FBI thing. And if you're saying that Kavanaugh's reputation has been besmirched, this will unbesmirch it if he didn't do anything. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Uh, it's a simple answer, uh, and it will make everybody feel and breathe easier when they vote for his confirmation. That's all. You know, ease the process up. What's and, the, and, what's and those of us who don't like his politics just have to live with it because that's the way it is. And at least there's no doubt on who this person is. And what's right. the rush? What's the rush? Why does it need to be Wednesday? Or why does it need to be tomorrow? You know, why can't we take what time we need to make sure we've got the best person we can have? Yeah. You know, that's and, true. and that he ticks that's off all the, all the boxes, you know, that we need checked. Uh, th there's nothing wrong with that. So, do you agree with that? No, no, no. no. Because, because, he's a time appointment. because because he realizes that in 40 days the Democrats are going to take over the House, uh, and crazy. then it's going to yep. be impossible. That's and what you're keeps, doing. If he that's keeps what drinking doing. all that beer, he'll never make a lifetime. Yeah. Sure, I I think the guy's guilty. He reminds me of one of these like like Mark said. He's like one of these. I'm not going to say whether he's you guilty. Never watched or not. The thing. All I know is what you I watched made me suspicious of him. He's not credible. I had to get my golf ball. Uh, I, I, I actually applauded his opening statement when I was home, sitting in my living room. Uh, I thought he was brilliant. Blubbering? You mean that blubbering, crying, uh, weepy, schoolgirl, 
uh, crying. It was really aggressive. It, it, it was a very, very emotional aggressive. thing. You have no. Uh, oh, that wasn't no emotional. Sympathy. That wasn't emotional. That was a guy who was guilty. Who'd been caught with his uh, hand in the cookie jar. That's a man oh, yeah. who's who who was accused of a. This was a uh, man a who was fighting for his jo- for this job he wants. No, he's fighting yeah. for his life. He's upset not because of anything else. He's upset because his because people found out about this and it's ruined his his uh, his image, his yes, his standing. Has. Yeah. And he spent and, a lifetime creating that image, and well, he's, he's being an upstanding, at least, an upstanding at least the later part of his life. Yeah. Well, how old is the guy? Uh, he's uh, fifty-five or something like that. Fifty-three. Two. Three. Yeah. He ain't able to get hired anyway. Now the third accuser was a. It was in college when she supposedly said that she was at a party with high school kids. Uh, now, and also, I saw her this morning. She doesn't look like those pictures. Those pictures must have been her 25 years ago because she looked great. If you look at her today, not so it's good. good to stop time. Well, I think Swetnick's, uh, oh, uh, Swetnick's claim should be investigated as well. I think that anybody who comes forward with some information that might, be, that might feed into the information we need to get the best possible candidate uh, should be done. Yes, Patrick. But I just turned on Fox. Mm-hmm. And what I at the bottom is a short list emerges of Supreme Court alternatives. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've always had that. Uh, 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 I haven't heard of that until now, and it's actually on the screen. So what's, it, what's the woman, a- Amy Schumer or somebody like that? Yeah, Amy, Amy Schumer. She makes a great... Uh, <laughs> Amy Schumer. Yeah. Chuck, 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 Amy Lisa. Schumer for the Supreme Lisa Court. Lampanelli. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa Lampanelli. Lisa <laughs> Lampanelli. Hey, she lost weight. <laughs> How about Sarah Silverman? You know. Yeah. Perfect. yeah. Roseanne Barr, Sarah Silverman, hey, Lisa Sarah Lampanelli Silverman up there. Will, yeah. She'll get her head into it. Yeah. I, was somebody asked Ruth Bader Ginsburg how many women would be enough on the Supreme Court, and she said nine. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a nightmare for Phil. Imagine if Phil saw nine women on the I, Supreme there's Court. There's a documentary. If you haven't seen it, CNN did it, and you can go to like CNN's uh, online thing and watch it on Ruth Bader Ginsburg. It's a very good documentary. It tells yeah. about her whole history, and she was actually pretty good looking when she was a young kid. Uh, but so were we all, you know, uh, but she really, uh, she's really, she's funny and she's, uh, and she's idolized too. She's the kids call her, you know, the notorious, uh, uh, RBG. So, uh, Alito liked her. (laughs) Alito uh, and she and Alito were best of buzz. No, no, it was the other guy. Uh, Scalia. 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 Yeah. The guy who died. Who they went died? to India together. They oh, yeah. video didn't they find him in a hotel room? No, like a shame. With a hooker. A dead hooker, I believe. He was in there with a dead hooker. I he was he Catholic, got, too. I thought he died in his uh, entryway. Or you something. know, I got to say something. Scalia was a shit when it came to his politics and his beliefs. But he was a very funny man and very amiable. Yeah. You know? And that I, I, can, I can see why Ruth, Ruth Bader Ginsburg considered him a pal. Because he, I, you know, on that level... I'd even make him my pal, too, probably. Yeah. I, I saw an interview with his son. Uh, I don't remember the particulars, but it, it was I thought it was interesting at the time. Uh, uh, Scalia's son. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how about, if, yeah. how about if they put a TV judge on, you know, like yeah. Judge Judy well, or I think, like I think, that? And I think she would rather have wait the money. Now, you're, you, uh, you she know makes something? too much she, money. No, she's the next one on the list. Judge Judy. Oh, okay. Judge Judy. She, uh, she was in the. People had talked about uh, Judge Judy or, uh, you know, uh, Piro. Oh, Piro. Piro. She's a cunt. Oh, she is a I'm cunt. She is a major C U N T with an yeah. exclamation like, oh, mark really after. You were better representing you. Yeah. Anyway. She, too expensive. That's the theme song. You hear the theme song? That's You know why you hear the theme song? Because that's the theme song. Uh, uh, closing theme song, not the opening theme song. Uh, and that's what we're playing right now so that you can all uh, kind of like uh, uh, wave goodbye to the people out there. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, uh, Rob. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Tony. You, thanks, <laughs> Beer. Beer, says Scott. Uh, Patrick, thank you. Appreciate the call. 
I won't be here tomorrow night. By the way, thank you, Jeff. I won't be here tomorrow night, but uh, these fine folks, I hope, will join uh, Damien and give him a good time. Okay? Wave goodbye. There we go. That's our group for tonight. That is the Citizens Panel. That's how we play our little game, and we certainly had a lot to talk about. As I said, I'm not going to be here tomorrow night. I will be back next, uh, 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 let's see here, next Tuesday. In the meantime, uh, right now, stay tuned for uh, The Intersection with uh, Jack Bishop. That's followed at 1 o'clock in the morning by Connections. And tomorrow night, it's Damian Chaplin starting at 9.30 and going all the way until midnight. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.